because you know, family is home and stuff like this. You know, as everyone else you know, is, we are enjoying each other's country. As you say, so, so we focus on what matters. All right. The thing is, uh, we want to start by saying bonus, balance, and harmonious vibration uh, to all. Um, it does the thing. Sound interference. So, what it is, it's like we want to start by thanking the ancestors, of course, you know, for having guided us. Uh, and more and more, we are realizing that we were not stupid to, to have uh, trusted their guidance, uh, though it was kind of hard, you know, because for anyone who ever been themselves and never stand against the world or against the crowd, you would know that uh, it's not easy. You would get to doubt yourself distrust yourself and stuff like this and this is why the best gift we can give to ourselves is to trust our own hearts and, and uh, knowing that it is capable of, uh, of leading us aright. So we of course uh, want to say thank you to the ancestors and realizing that the uh, Zoom is offering. Okay so uh, the you know uh, there's a lot going on <laughs> so uh, uh, you know, bear with the system that we are using. You see, so um, what we would say is that uh, um, most of the time, you know, the ancestors, you see, they, they we don't know uh, exactly, you know, um, what we help us with, what they help us with on a daily basis and stuff like this, you see what I mean? Which is why the best we do for ourselves is to, you know, trust. They trust them because they they they, they, worth, they are worth our trust or something like that because really they don't need a dime from us they don't need anything from us we really have nothing to serve except our our ears and our obedience and and, and and understanding and stuff like that you see so what is what do we say about things being part of the plan you see part of the plan is uh, is that since we set out to guide ourselves in our world, uh, knowing what to come and stuff like this, which is why we took the positions that we took. But more than ever now, many who've been following us can see why we took the stand or why we used to say what we used to say throughout the time. Because part of leadership is to go back to your words, not on your words, but to your words, and then see if there's anything that you've been saying that, that, that may not have made sense so that you may learn from your own words. That's why most of the time when we come alive, we, as any other leader should do, is not to speak and teach any other people because everybody has their heart and their heart is their best teacher. That's why when we speak to anyone, we cannot teach anyone because they already know. All we do is reminding them, you see? Everybody knows because we nobody's better than the, than any other. That's why the best we can do is to believe in ourselves, trust ourselves, and allow others to see the mirror through us or something like that. You see, because who's to teach anyone anything new? Nothing new under the sun, right? So that's what it is. That's why many many of us who may feel some type of way, thinking we're better than any other, whatever, we're just stupid, really, because we're not teaching nobody anything that they don't. We only remind them each other of things there's nothing to feel big about or whatever those are the we say these things it's not because we want to belittle anyone but there's no helping anyone unless we tell them what it is how it is the way it is or something or the way we should you see so the pain like we always say is not to bite the hand that gives that shows the pain but it's to take the hand that shows the pain you see, what up, uh, Sister Vivi, bonus. Thanks for, for stopping by. <laughs> What's going on? Happy to see you. Thanks for your divine feminine energy, sis. So, and also let us know if, if there's anything we need to fix if we come into a clear between you. Uh, because uh, the, the message, you know, is, is always, our message is always uh, important and always needed for something like that for ourselves and those who are on our same path to self-evolution and self-consciousness uh, or something like that. So wave back at you. Uh, we thank you uh, for stopping by. We love you. Always.
Um, so um, what it is, it's like, uh, it's just, uh, you know, to know that uh, it is, uh, you know, our job uh, to do, you see. And which is why when we, ch we, we hear mostly to go back on our words and stuff like this, not on our words, to our words, because we try, try not to go back on our words, whatever we say we mean, and we will continue to mean, of course. If it hurts anyone, you're welcome, because uh, pain is only a friend. It's not always an enemy like we always take it that's why we teach everyone who ever follow us to learn to you know to to deal with pain uh immaculately you see because when we see it as an enemy it's not that it is an enemy but it's only we see it. perspective is what matters most or something that's why we were teaching our people or reminding our people and our friends and the lovers mostly that pain is a friend and see it as such and stuff like that by now, if you have any brain left or something like this, you should not see, like now, clearly the reason why we took the stand we took. We, we, we have to admit that it's not always, he has always not been like the popular uh, uh, stand, you see, because our statements, our lives and our way of doing things do not, you know, does not really align with that of Damascus, we admit. And uh, it's something that we, anyone who knows any better could be proud of or something like that. Because most of the time, it's, it's uh, just because something is popular does not really make, make it uh, uh, the thing, you see. And, and this is why we were, we know every time, you know, we gain the mass, masses acceptance and then we move to the next level, they fight again. <laughs> Because now the, the latest is uh, that uh, we are telling them to take the one percent, to accept the one percent is part of them, which they want to reject also. Because we already used to the rejection of our words, so of course, so it's nothing new, except that they may, they have to understand now more and more why. And you see, it's not always because you don't understand something does that mean it's wrong or something like that, which is why to help you uh, help, help ourselves. We teach you to see things beyond good and bad because we see how you, every time we understand your mindset, we give you a solution to help you be safe regardless of the mindset or something like that. But the thing is like everything we do is done for a purpose. It's done for a reason. We are not the time to waste time. And if we choose to waste time, it's exactly what we need to do for the time being as well. Even wasting the time even. Because when you are conscious, like Sadhguru will say, it's it's you do whatever it is you want to do do the, do as thy will which is the maxim of the law but to do so consciously you see you have to know what you are doing at all times you see what i mean and stuff like that and the best we can do to each other or for each other is to remind each other that 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 that, that, that fact or something like that so what are we here to do today it's it's nothing new except that we wanted we couldn't waste time going back on our words all the time, repeating ourselves. But now that we are on a level, different level, a different phase of, of, of things and stuff like this, then it is only safe that we go back to our words, not on our words, to show what we meant or something like this. Because it, will, it may seem as, the, as a waste of time at the time, but now it's not a waste of time. That's why that, it is not what you do, but it is why you do it, which is one of our teachings as well. So the thing is like, we, wh why should we go back to our words? It's because when we question our words, instead of jumping shape and coming in alignment with it or something like this, um, we have to now prove what we meant, you know, and how we could have avoid whatever it is that comes next that we bring about or something like this. But you have to know nothing happens without our consent. We are the creator, we are the sustainers, we are the destroyers. Whether we, we may be unconscious at times and knowing, thinking that we are not, oh, we are destroying the world. Nah, we are destroying the world, you see what I'm saying? So that's what it is, uh, you see what I mean? Uh, whether you accept your crown or not, you are always in control. 
and the dangerous part is when you don't know that. You see what I'm saying? So that's why the best we have to do is to remind each other of, of that. So now, what have we been saying in the past? You see, that was questioned and most fighting. But of course, if we say it, you know, like when we say, oh, it cannot be said better, trust me, we're only saying that to save you from yourself. You see, we don't want to sound arrogant and, 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 and things, but sometimes a doctor or any professional in their field have to post the degrees on the wall, not to show off, but to gain your trust. You see what I mean? That's why when we say these things, it may sound arrogant to the arrogant ones, but the thing is, is we only putting the, 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 the barriers and the, the, the protecting the, uh, the words which you in it so that they may serve you or something like that, you see, against the, your own selves. You see, though we don't like doing that, you see, but it's not about like or not dislike, it's do as, need, as needed, you see what I'm saying? So the, the thing is like, uh, we only want to go back two hours so that we may see that, of course, amongst us are those who speak because they have a mouth indeed, but not all of us speak because of the mouth. Some of us do speak because of what we overcome, what we know better, and what we have to say, and what we have no uh, uh, luxury not to say, or something like that. Because when, like Einstein said, uh, uh, the, the problem of the world is not the one who do the, the bad things or destroying it or something, but it's the one who know better and choose to stay silent or something like that. So of course you are guilty by association because we are so powerful as beings that even our silence speak louder than our words sometimes. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I'm not hearing the sound, so let me make sure that uh, I'm coming uh, with the things right now. Okay, we are supposed to reload the page, but we are recording, of course. Uh, so it will be on our VTV channel or on YouTube and stuff like this. So we hope uh, you, you, know, you get that. Okay, let me see uh, if all is well and we shall continue. And stuff. All right, all is well. So, um, you know, bear with the system because uh, technology is made from men and men is not perfect. That's why we learn to accept each other as we are. And everything we create is going to have flaws and uh, accept these flaws and as beauty. And the <laughs> so, thank you for your patience. And, uh, and also, uh, we are back again. So, let me see if, if everything is running properly. Okay, uh, okay, so everything is moving. Oh yes, thank you for your patience. So now we call every leader, and this is why we say leader of leaders, you see, because we only take this position, because one thing we have to realize, people, is that before the problem exists, the solution existed. First, you see what I mean? Now, it's you now, or us, that have to know ourselves so well to know what, where the solution is. You see what I mean? Some of us already been through enough challenges, overcome enough challenges and tribulations and trials. And this, that's why we teach our people to take them as friends, not to, it's not really to curse or to whoever hurt us or whoever doing whatever to us, but to see it for what it is, because there's always a positive thing to everything, a positive to everything. And which is why we urge everyone, whoever listened to us, uh, the lovers, um, and, we, and we are so grateful for them, because if it wasn't for them, trust me, we would have given up on ourselves and our people a long time ago. So you should kiss everyone, whoever, kept us going, whether with their money, with their attention, with their energy, with a word of, 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 of uh, you know, solace or whatever, you see what I'm saying? Because <laughs> all is energy. We are the energy, so whatever we do is energy. And this is why we wanted the new world to understand this. And we will talk about that as well today. You see what I'm saying? 
And all leaders got to do that for themselves and the ones who follow them. Because people got to understand who they listen to and who they follow. Because there's no time to waste. And there's, uh, you know, the ancestors are not playing with us, obviously. So uh, what needs to be done must be done. You see what I mean? And what needs to go got to go, uh, whatever it is, that is, or something like this. And it's, it has nothing to do with feelings or even my own daughter and sons and those, those I love daily close or something like this, I tell them the same. If I say something to you and you don't listen, then I already made myself safe from having to cry for you. If I brought you into the world, it is my, my job also to take you out of it. You see what I mean? If you are not serving anything for the time, being. because every being that comes and takes space or holds space in reality comes for a purpose. And if you forget that purpose, then what it is that you're worth to the, to the space that you're holding, except that you are wasting space for those who can offer something to the world. So what it is, is that we want every leader uh, to make sure to explain themselves to their, to their followers, why they took the stand they took. You see, why everything you said was said. Why every step you took was taken, you see? And like I already done the work so that everyone sees who are the child, who are, who are the children among us and stuff. I've done that work a long time ago. I can only speak for myself. I'm sorry if I cannot say anyone else because we only reliable to what we say. Whatever all the leaders say, it's what they say. My job is not to judge what they say to the people or whatever. I can only talk for myself speak for myself you see what i'm saying and which is why i'm here today okay and this is what every leader must do you see because there's no play there's no game and there's no right no wrong either you see if it is your role for leading was to safeguard your own family in your home using the masses or something like this so would it be it's not right it's not wrong of course your immediate uh, responsibility is those that you hold close to you, you see so there's no right no wrong it is for it falls on those who follow and who listen blindly and stuff like this that's why most of the time we seek to blame others but when we are to blame at all times so of course when in our courts and in where we stand you have nothing to worry about all we need from you is to is your uniqueness is your uh, uh, integrity is your um, uh, is your authenticity it's, you know, and all of that you see all the great virtues that a man can offer or something you see even your stand whether it may seem selfish to to the followers we may learn from it more than than anything else therefore of course you are safe with us it is not about blame or nothing like that except that we need to know where we stand you see all of us so the thing is like every leader uh, supposed to do that for their followers. We owe them that because they, they give us the best they can offer, which is their attention. Of course, we have to give them that. You see, they, we owe them that, of course. So, but speaking for myself, which is the only thing I must do, the only thing I can do without speculating, is why did I stand against the money? first and foremost, which is something that I fought so much. Was it against money or was it against the mindset or something like that? But for those who may not be aware too much of the time or something like this, we can say safely that it is obvious that it's not every problem that life throws at us to help us uh, evolve that money can solve or something like this you see which is one of the reason uh, one of the many reasons that we stood against it uh, was that but it was not the money itself it was because money served us well you see and up to today we have supporters you know supporting us financially and this and that and we are so grateful for them you see what i mean and because they learn to trust us and they learn to realize how how much you see we Every time they would doubt us and they would see that, you know, that was not the proper thing to do. You see what I mean? So, of course, they, you know, 
continue to support, to continue to show their love. That's why even the Christ, Jesus, may peace and blessing be upon them, said that once you are living in your heart, you are living your truth, you are living in truth, you care about yourself and others and stuff like this, then you shall not worry about the mundane things because, you know, trust me, there are lovers out there that will make sure of that. And that's why you don't have to worry about it, you see what I mean? Because once they recognize you are trusted, you, they can trust you. Because that's something, even the, the biggest mob bosses out there, you will see they will pay any money for someone loyal, for someone they can believe in, so they can trust, they can rely on. Anyone who ever have a brand knows how much it is, it, it's priceless, you see, to have someone that you can trust, especially in a world where dog eat dogs and, and crab bucket situation, you know, you know what does. So, so to speak and show, because this is what we call for now, and to speak why you took your stand. So now we take, the, we take many stands, and then the, the main thing is fighting the highest, the God, you see, the money, you see. We took it on ourselves to bring down that God, you see. But to bring it down, not because he was wrong, but because the people forget that they are also God. You see, they are children of that God, meaning they give birth to the chicken or the egg. You see, that situation. They give, we give birth to money, to God or something. Like you see, it's a circle of life. You see what I mean? If you catch my joke. So we needed you to understand why? Because it's not really that we have time to waste and fighting money or fighting God or something like that. But we wanted you to understand that all problems can be solved with money, you see? Because that's why we kept reminding each other that the nations that are great, like the, the United States of America, the greatest nation in the world or something like that, it, what, it didn't start by focusing on money. Of course, it's realized that we need the medium of exchange to do business around the world, international business and stuff like this with each other, international trade or whatever it is. But what matters most is finding the people with the brain, like those who have something to offer. You see what I mean? And that is that uniqueness. And this is what we needed the people to focus on that uniqueness. What is everyone speaking up is offering? Money, money, money. Okay, yes, but money being around, like that's not it. There's a new world coming, emerging. So money is not the main thing, it's not the forefront. But of course, for the layman, it's money gotta be. And trust me, if you are weak, this is, is not your conversation because my job is to make sure not to worry about your emotions too much, you see, because for your own good, as you are worrying about it, we can all jump on that wagon with you. So worry about your emotions and safeguard it. And if you cannot stand conversation of the will, like stay away by all means. So, but our job is not to try to, though we do our best to be compassionate, and, but compassion doesn't mean lying to each other. And even, I don't do that to my little babies. So why should I do that to other babies or something like that? You see what I'm saying? So the thing is like, uh, literally you don't pay us for the attention or not just to come and lie to you or to play games with you. You want it will just whether you are ready for it or not. So the thing is like basically, it's just, um, uh, we took the stand, it's because obviously, let's say now we are dealing with a COVID-19 situation or something like this. Do you really believe that money is gonna be able to cure that even all the with all the money whatever fighting the vice fighting fight tr like finding not fighting but find the uh, vaccines or start take finance it takes this it takes that but thank god we we print money right so there's there's always gonna be enough so the thing is like since there's enough money and we print money and stuff like this, so should we worry about being chasers or creators of money? So when we become creators of money, which is what we were trying to transform the, the human beings on the planet into, uh, so that they may overlook the survival mode and realize that they are the money. 
so that we can now take away the veil and the blindfold and stuff like this so that we can see further than our survival, self-survival and stuff like this. Like there were worm in the, in the ground and there were rats in the holes in the homes. There were roaches that ever walked among, among, among the homes and stuff like that. So the thing is like basically, yes, we did we expect the backlash that we get? Of course. You see, we expect it, we welcome it because he helped us, you know, understand who we are listening to, who is who, and whatever it is. Because the, our job is not to judge, but to listen, understand, and validate. You see? So how could we validate each other's words unless we listen to each other's words first? You see what I mean? But of course, it's not to blame, but only to see where we stand and who we have in front of us. You see what I mean? So... Now, and which is why I still doubt myself, of course, obviously. That's why we call, as I'm doing the, the due diligence, to tell people why I said money was not the answer for the time being. So we still want to hear why others were pushing it, uh, something like that. You see? So the thing is, like, because we don't want to assume that it was wrong or whatever. But we took the stand because we didn't see how money can help us or help anyone in that when, when money is in abundance, you see, or something like that. But of course, we still wait uh, for, for whatever answer or something like that, you see what I mean? But the thing is like, we stood obviously against it because of that, you see what I mean? Because we wanted to make sure that we're not wasting our time into something that may not serve for the time being, you see. Of course, for now, it's okay about uh, um, buying food and whatever, you see, it's still surviving and whatever, of course, we know that. But yeah, that's why we couldn't shut it down completely, you see what I mean? We leave enough room for it to exist, you see, because it's not about getting rid of something. If it is already part of the reality, of course, we gotta deal with it as such. We cannot be delusional, you see what I mean? But the thing is like that we took that stand and I'm so happy now that we are able to say it to you and having you understand uh, and thanks to the COVID-19 and the help that it brings and stuff like that, you see what I mean? So the thing is like now you may understand because uh, uh, without understanding there's no moving forward. And there's no need to survive anything unless something would come out of it with, with us. You see what I mean? So we still present a, a chance or a solution uh, because we are the problem. We have been the problem. And of course, within the disease is the cure. So the thing is like, for those who don't understand, um, it is, which we want to find the exact words or something like this. I know there's some who don't like when we choose words wisely, but what's the point of speaking if your words are not, there's a whole wisdom or something like that. You see what I mean? So bear with us, bear with the wisdom and trust wisdom. You see, whether you understand why or not, bear with it. So the thing is like basically, it's just, um, 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 uh, yes, taking the stand, uh, one of them is, is with the money. So we couldn't just completely overlook money, you see, and that's part of leadership. It's not about getting rid of things, you see what I mean? It's to understand it and transmute it, transform it, and make it work, use it, find a use for it. So money existed, that's why we couldn't completely destroy whoever stood against us. Not that we couldn't, but we tame our town. Uh, but of course, it comes with a price. And that price is losing lives and losing trust and losing uh, whatever. You see what I mean? But what's the point of the trust or the, or the life if it does not serve anyone uh, or something like this? 
that's why there's no wrong really in reality you do, do you do not lose anything when you are following your heart or something like that whatever is lost was meant to be lost it was not it was hindering anyway that's why it's so important that you trust yourself and your heart and stuff like this you see so the thing is like basically is um if you see me looking different ways it's because you see there's different uh, eyes or different cameras or something like this that we have to pay in mind to you see so the stand i took like i said we have to stand with our words and back of what we say because he helped others you know discontinue to be a hindrance or a nuisance or a blockage into the road of, of better life and better experience or something like that but we we though we may feel some type of way because we care about everyone and stuff like this uh, but we can't help but thanking them as well even whatever hater um challengers or whatever you see they all serve their purpose because purpose is not always positive or like we think even the negative ones have, have a reason to be you see what i mean and uh you see so we have to be grateful regardless you see what i'm saying for them that's why you may understand that it's not about throwing dots or whatever we all serve the purpose but the lesson is the main goal like what have we learned or something like this have we grown you know have, have we become better beings or something like this <laughs> brother freddy said the egg first <laughs> you see what i mean point zero right you see so the thing is like um what it is is uh basically it's um simply it's not that we believe that money couldn't help or couldn't serve because obviously the best help, you know, my work can offer is of a financial basis, of course, whether it's a lesson or on how to make money to sustain myself. That's why, how, how could I be mad at those whom some deem to be enemies of mine when in reality they are the lovers of mine, you see? Because people who offer the, the, the classes to make money, they only look in to look out, you see, I mean, they are looking out for me because they understand how important my point of view may be or my, 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 my genuine love or my whatever you, whatever it is. And, but they, the job, their job is not to give me a fish, but to teach me how to fish because you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, but you teach him how to fish, you feed him forever. But we, we all need all of it to give the fish and to teach how to fish. But I chose the word king because king mostly does not need to be taught how to fish. You see, I, not because I wanted to be king. Like I said yesterday, uh, doing the, the live on, on YouTube, we all wear a crown. So really we are all, if one is king, all of all is king. When you have a kingdom, it's not a kingdom of peasants with a king. But the proper way to see it is a, a bunch of king uh, creating, a, 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 you know, a form of what we call society, come together to, to, to live together, uh, or something, ashe, ashe, ashe. So you see what I mean? It's not like, that's why many may fight for the crown because they think they're better than the other people or whatever. But a true king is not the one who sees itself above anyone else but it sees everyone as itself or himself or herself you see what i mean and then but the one with the the most challenge who overcome the most challenge or something like this uh, and then understand the oneness better you know what i mean so that it may serve the all all of the kings or something like this that's why the way we speak now must be different from before because it is in our literature and our words that, that, that the problem starts. Because in the beginning, it was always the word. You see what I mean? If the words that do not serve properly, they, they, do not, they are not chosen properly, 
or something like this, then everything else is going to be the same. You see what I'm saying? So by all means, whether people like it or not, choose your always wise. You see? So the thing, then they will thank you later because they are only seeing it from their own perspective. So bear with them and be compassionate and understand it. You see? Because it's, it's coming all from love anyway. You see? It's just may not be whole. Or something. So this is why we took this stand on, on the money situation. We can go on and on and on, but like we say, we think the, uh, the COVID-19 uh, for what it does. But of course, things, things must get worse. It must continue to do its job uh, because the more we don't get it, we don't grasp uh, or something we are blaming, we are doing all sorts of things we are joking about and living our lives or something like this. And then of course he has to become worse, you see, because the thing with the ancestors is like, the more we're not getting it, the more we don't get it, they have to level it up, you see what I'm saying? Which is why though we may see that there's no need to feel, no need to think, but at the same time, we know there's some of us among us that need the fear or something like that. That's why it's never a black and white situation. That's why we teach our people uh, to see things with, with the whole prism or something like this, you see, instead of the black and white that they are used to or something, or the binary mindset. You see, because we are multidimensional beings, so we should never forget that, you see, and, and go with binary for something, specifically when, you know, science itself, you know, who, who is only seeking to discover the self and may never con uh, uh, reach an apex or something because self is so great and, or something. <laughs> So science will always lag behind. So the thing is, they understand now the quantum nature of things. They, it, would, it would be dumb of them to keep on going with, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist mindset. So if they evolve, imagine us, so should we, you see what I mean? Amongst you, you will find many who continue to play games, who do this, who do that, though we do the same, that's why we teach our people to not see the action, but the intention. That's why we welcome uh, um, criticism. We welcome everything because it gives us a reason to explain ourselves. Why do we joke ourselves sometimes? There's a reason. Why? Because when we see you going crazy with yourselves, our job is to throw some water in the fire and calm you down or something. Because why? Because not saying that there's no reason to panic, but panic cannot help anything. You only clog your judgment and make things worse or something, which is the reason why you may find us joking. But people that we are, who we have become, uh, we, have, we joke only consciously. We know why or something like that. But if there's too many jokes or something, then there's no need for us to keep joking. We only joke when there's no jokes. But if there's too many jokes, but then we come to be serious because there has to be a balance, you see, or something like that. So, but of course, there is no need, there is no joke. You see, there's no time to joke. And if we keep joking, then COVID-19 will continue to joke with our little asses as well. That's the, that's the, that's the only thing with it. You see, that's how it is. And we take COVID-19 for everything it does, uh, for assisting us in our evolution and stuff like that. So the thing is like, um, that is why to conclude on this point of the money, which is one of the stands we took uh, or something. It's not that money is not important. It's not that this and that, whatever. It's not that you see, uh, whatever you see, but of course it's because we needed us to focus on what matters, which is the uniqueness, what we came to offer and stuff like this. You see what I mean? So, but 
at the same time, that's why sometimes you may see some people say, oh, your action must match your whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's more complicated than, than those binary thoughts and stuff like that. Sometimes you will find us, which is why we, we didn't want to come and pretend to be perfect in front of you, saying we never lie. We needed you to trust that we lie and we need to lie at times. If lie exists, this was our answer. There's, there must be a, a balance reason or wise reason for it, you see. Now, it's not that you lie, it's why do you lie? That's, that's what the question must be. So the thing is like, when we come and say money does not matter, we, we may be lying. Why? Because we do continue r running our business, which is our platforms and things that we are doing, mutual business and the, 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 the contracts we do with each other and stuff like this, of course, business as usual. And of course, also, do I support a certain platform, you know, who are about money and stuff like this. So those may not align with me saying it's, it's not about money. So does that make me a liar? Because I support businesses that are about money? It does not. Because that's why we have to, we learn to see that survival is part of the game. Should we continue to, should we seek to tame every money chaser, every money maker or something like this? Or should we understand there is a part of life that is above that, you see? You see what I mean? That's why it's never really black and white. That's why when we speak, the two, the binary mindsets will only get confused and we understand where they're coming from. That's why it takes us to come and stand beyond our words and explain ourselves. You see, every leader must do the same. You see, and anyone who already following our footsteps or doing nothing different than what we do, need not do that, really. Because obviously they're not doing anything different, right? So what's the point, you see? Continue to do your, your part. Continue to do, do the great work already, you see? or something like that, you see? But the thing is, uh, everything we do, we have to do for a reason or something. And we have to have an outcome already in our minds, you see, like of what we do and what to expect out of it. But most of the time, it's many people want to know what you're building, what you're doing, what did this, what did that, you see? Certain, when it is to be obvious, it will be obvious, you see? But if it's not to be obvious, it won't be obvious, even when you try, you see? That's the thing we have to understand, you see? But there's more to life than building a building to put children into it uh, and feed their brains with data and stuff like this, because it's been done before, you see? But is that wrong or right? No. But we seek not to repeat the same things, you see what I mean? That's why the best you can offer is the attention, the trust, the this, the that, or whatever it is, or something like that. You see what I mean? So, uh, which is another stand we took, or, to, like how we stand and how we move, which is different, separate from the mass, or something like that. But there's a reason for it, because what's the point of all of us going to the same direction when we are multi-dimensional? So every dimension must present a, a wealth, its own uniqueness or something like this. You are not a human being when you are all together thinking the same thoughts, doing the same thing. But of course, there is a reason, a part of us that must align with each other. Just like you see when you look into the cosmos, you find every planet their own uniqueness, yet they follow their orbits respectively, not overstepping their own boundaries and stuff like this together, being their own selves. You see what I mean? Harmoniously, and which is what we're supposed to be with ourselves. But when we choose certain code, like kings or this or that, there's reason behind it. Of course, it's gonna seem like we want to be something or whatever that we are not or whatever it is, you see what I mean? But there's a reason you see, we choose. Because there's a word bigger than, than just wearing a fake crown over your head made of gold or whatever else, you see, than to just wear it, you see? And what the true crown we all have, you see? You see what I mean? 
there's no difference. That's why we tame the tongues that seek to follow certain things like of uniqueness. They want to seem unique. They want to show that they're different. That's why we try to tame that at time because we don't want to start that trend because there's no need to start a trend of uniqueness. Like, okay, I'm different, I'm different. Because we are different, whether we know it or not. Let's look at our fingerprints. You see what I mean? Of course, we're different. There's no need to prove that. You see what I'm saying? So now it's to prove that uniqueness of what you are working with. What are you offering that have not been before? You see what I mean? It, does, it doesn't have to be a school. It doesn't have to be anything. But even your support of those that are building that school is maybe that uniqueness, you see? It's just be that which you are fully, you see what I mean? Be it proudly, be it fully. It doesn't have to be as big as the other. And just like you see the finger, as important as it is, may not be as important, maybe according to us, as the head. But would you want to give up a finger or something like this? Just like you wouldn't want to give up your head. That's why it's not really about, okay, this one is better or bigger than the other. Leave that mindset behind. You see what I'm saying? So that's why when we speak, we try to do many. We speak for every leader that's speaking, trying to, you know, not only tame their mouth when they say things they don't understand and also fix the problem with the words or something they may bring forth or something like that because we are the problem for ourselves you see we most of the time we may not know that you see or something but um excuse me the thing is it's not or something like of arrogance or something like that trust me I remember, I believe Savan is the one that, that's been saying that uh, or something like this. When the energy, the, 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 the Saturn energy come through uh, or something like this and that, that one who wears the, the hat and come in like the grandfather whipping asses, whether with his words or whatever, trust me, we need that. And that, that is so true. And that's what leadership is about. It's not trying to tame the grandfather energy or whatever, except seek to accept it and or understand it, to welcome it, because trust me, you need it. But when we t try to tame it, it's only because of the weakness within. You see, we, we, he hurts us the most. But when something hurts us, just like every other animal, when we feel cornered, of course, we're going to fight, we're going to bite, bite back or something, which is expected of every animal in the kingdom. You see what I'm saying? We're not doing anything different than the worm, nothing different than the mosquitoes, nothing different than the roaches, nothing different. Trust me, we are the same. So the thing is like basically, we simply wanna make sure that we understand that we are the problem, you see? And which is why also when some of us want to throw the finger out instead of the mirror facing the mirror we seek to tame that as well we may love the beings we may love we understand the level of leadership we know what they have to offer that's why we say there's solution with small s and solution with big s to fix that issue you see that was the solution we bring about because though we understand the aspect of pointing the fingers saying blame the government blame this blame that but that's not where the biggest solution comes from. That's why we accept it for what it is. But we want to make sure that those who don't know better don't think that this is the biggest solution and then give the full attention to it and lose ourselves behind that and then get confused later or find out later or something like that. But of course, we all have to pluck out the garden. We don't want to have to pluck the weeds. We don't want that. When you see something not potential enough for the time and stuff like this, you, someone got to come and do that work. We, we, you think it's going to be done on its own. But as you're doing it, of course, mosquito is going to bite you. And that, let's say that as a cold, like people being mosquitoes in the garden. 
uh, whatever bites, whatever this, whatever, kind of come and, and then present the problem. But the best you can do is to remain in yourself and continue to do what you do. That's why we take everyone with never, though they may get confused at times, but they try to tame themselves and align themselves with that, with the energy or something like this and learn to see the value instead of judging it wrong or concluding or whatever, like not even concluding, assuming or, you know, presuming or doing all these type of things or something like this without understanding. You see, that's, that's leadership indeed. But since we all are leaders, we all are kings, we all are this, we all are that, then it takes one to know one, right? So that's what it is. So do we really lose ourselves when we accept, just like the ants, accept hierarchy? Not by questioning it, but just feel it. That's why it's not the eyes. Show me where you at, show me what you're building. It's not really that, but it's a feeling, you see? It's a gut feeling, because really what we see is not always what it is, which is why those who believe with the eyes don't blame us if we play with that at times, because that's the best we, have, we can do for you. We play with them, you see? Because you won't learn if we don't play with them, you see? That's, it's not about playing games. It's what, what do we offer if we don't play with them? Because we have to prove to you that you shouldn't depend on those eyes too much. You see, we will thank us later when you grow up or something like that. But nothing do done should be done out of, you know, um, vindictive reasons or seeking to avenge or whatever. There's no need for that. You see what I mean? But it's done because it needs to be done, you see? So, and another thing that we do that you may not understand, and obviously, of course, is, you know, standing alone, you see? Learn to stand alone because when you are unique, that's why you don't see no two planets hanging out. Even the two star systems that we find ourselves, it's only at time that they come together and dance or something like this. But of course, they go on their own courses after. Every one of us has responsibility that we have to attend to. We, it's in our homes and outside of our homes, you see. So it's not really about hanging out, coming together, hanging out, breaking bread all the time, whatever. Though there's need, whatever, you see, sometimes we do that, but it's not always about that. Specifically when we are not on the same page as we should anyway. Which is why the, the, the live yesterday the, the, on V podcast uh, and V channel, V TV channel yesterday was about the, the ants uh, system, the way they behave in time of calamity. And because we see the danger we pose to ourselves as always, when we should focus on coming together, but instead we focusing on who's the leader and who's that, or like fighting for, for a seat at the table or whatever, you see? But if the ants were doing that, and that's why sometimes I have to be you know, respectful towards the monkeys, the true ones, not, you know, those acting like that, but the true ones are not acting unlike themselves. Of course, there's no disrespect to them. You see what I mean? To the monkey that is in the kingdom, but the, the human being that acts like a monkey, you see, uh, we definitely disrespecting the true monkey or something because the true monkey does not disturb anything, you see. But the one who is not, but acting as such, is the problem. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, uh, basically, the ants, as we say, we are the apex, we're better than, we are the best in the kingdom. Yes, we may be, but only when we are acting as ourselves, you see, or something like that. So even the ants, 
maybe our masters our time when we lose who we are, when we don't know ourselves. Which is why we thank the ants for being the example for us in these times, you see? Because then when it comes, let's say there's a flood out there or something like that, you don't find the ants looking for a leader or looking for this. <laughs> they already know, let's get together. There's no question, there's no nothing, let's just get together, period. Anyone who belongs to anywhere is being in that place already. That's why even in the scriptures, Islamic at best, you will find, they say, when people or when after the end of things or when we find the kingdom or something and everyone is come back to the new earth and stuff like this, every nation will know their place. Then nobody will be confused as to where they belong and stuff like this, of course not. You see what I mean? So do you really believe when we're looking out there, okay, we need the leader this, we need that, it only shows that we don't know ourselves. It doesn't matter what our mouth says, what the ego wants to prove or something like that. It's obvious, you see, to anyone who knows anything or something like that, you see what I mean? So the thing is like, like the ant, we called on the people to cease looking for self-gratification, cease to fit in a seat, because the more you cry for a seat, the more it proves that you don't belong there. You see, because if you understood responsibility or just the level of responsibility it takes to be in a seat or something like this, trust me, none of you want it. Which is why most of the time when we look for a seat, we run after we got it. Because the best we wanted is to just prove that we can win it. That's why it is obvious in reality that it is easy to succeed. <laughs> because most of the time all you have to, take, to say is that you belong there. And everybody is not going to judge. Like, okay, maybe he does, maybe she does. Let's give, you see. And, but when you're there and then every eyes is on you and stuff like this, then now what? You see? And then now, yes, the ego is happy because all I wanted is to show my people, for my family, look where I'm at, look where I sit, look where I belong. And that was the end of it. You see what I'm saying? But when there's a, when there's a new earth, a new birth, a new this, a new that, is it really what matters? Is it to prove to families where we belong? And, what we can achieve. Because when you achieve, it's not the true success because life continues and the challenges continue. You see what I mean? But indeed, yeah. it is to keep that success. You see? It's not about succeeding, it's about keeping, keeping it. Anyone can become rich or a millionaire overnight, thanks to the lottery with no efforts except that just go out there do a little something for somebody or beg for a dollar you get it and go play the lottery and then boom millionaire overnight but to keep being a millionaire only those who keep is those that either listen to those who have had it before and kept it or those who fought for it or worked hard for it and as they were overcoming challenges, they learned how to keep it through the challenges. But if your leaders don't teach you to face the storm instead to run from it, how you, can you ever be ready to, to, to keep anything, success or whatever you look for, or something like that? You see what I mean? Which is why, though as arrogant as it sounded, we didn't mean to say leaders of leaders, but we didn't find any position other than that to serve ourselves and those who trust us or something like that. You see what I mean? Because that's why the best, the best we could do is to, we did literally, is to muffle the waters, ruffle the waters, making sure that we, make it apparent to anyone who has a little brain left to see 
who is who and what is what, you see? Because we didn't want to make, start a war, like pointing fingers, naming names, but we did it in ourselves in a way that it will be obvious, you see? Who can we trust in these times? And who's really able, capable, or something like that? Because everyone has something to offer, but it's a matter of prioritizing, you see? What comes first now? Is it those that are giving us a dollar or teach us how to make a dollar? Or is it those that are teaching us how to eat? Or, or to those that are teaching us how to be together and overcome? Or is it, you see what I mean? Because it's not a right or wrong, because everything has a time for it, you feel me? But it's finding, knowing with the time, you see, what time is it? And then knowing what comes first in that time. You see, that's, that's the priority. You see what I'm saying? So how, how can it be easy when it, it's like that? You see what I'm saying? You see? But, and then the best we did, that's why those who love us and want us to take our words and turn it to money and whatever, but instead we choose to give our platform to everyone else, like by calling them if they say they have something to say or by sharing their work if they are already saying something that we deem important or necessary for the people to hear because it's not to be leading ourselves or others it's not about being the only mouth but being the, sh the one who share the mouth that are worthy you see and to us we see that it was Sevan he was Till Swan, he was Sister Asset, he was, uh, 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 the, and uh, on top of all that is the Mujis and the Sadgurus and the Grandfathers and stuff like this or whatever. You see what I mean? That's why we, we had to be arrogant for a second to say, when we share something, we hope you're not taking it for granted and you're not taking it for a joke. There's a reason we do everything we do. You see what I mean? So, the thing is like some of them, like the grandfathers, we can trust fully what they say because no ego in it and or ego is in it, but ego knows its place, best way to put it. Therefore, ego is not even present. <laughs> and then also they're not trying to make a dollar or start a platform or starting a following or whatever. It just happened, you see, because it has to happen. It's gonna happen. So they didn't worry about that. So we, just, we put their words above all others. That's why we, we, from our centers, give our people the voice 